So I thought I would do a little comparison review of the X Maker Joy and the original X Maker. Obviously, to start off, the biggest difference is the size between the two. Both are enclosed 3D printers with doors, which is nice uh, when you're working with kids. You don't want them to be putting their hands in the hot surface there. Both printers are aimed at children and beginners. They come with an app, which is super easy to use, with a whole directory of different toys, things that kids can print and be excited about, like this little Q-tip gun. Um, you can also print your own designs. This is something I designed myself and uploaded to the app. And then a whole bunch of seasonal type of items like this bunny here um, and the <clears throat> pumpkin that I printed on the X Maker. Overall, um, the print quality on both machines is very comparable. Um, it's pretty high qu print quality considering that it's an uh, entry-level printer. You can see a few little errors, a little bit of stringing on the bunny ears, and then a little bit of problems on the bottom of that pumpkin. But um, overall, the print quality is good. It comes with this flexible bed, uh, which is really important. Definitely a flexible bed, I think, is key for um, a beginner because it's easier to take the prints off. Key difference, obviously, is that the Joy is much smaller, and so you're limited in terms of what you can print on the Joy. You can't print bigger objects, and so the X Maker definitely has the advantage of a bigger print space, which allows you a little bit more diversity in what you can print. X Maker has a touch screen, so you can actually do some things just by uh, touching the touch screen. You can um, change out the filament, you can calibrate, you can up, um, upload designs. Whereas the Joy has no touch screen, um, so you have to do everything through the app. There's this um, filament holder on the back of the Joy, and it has that dust cover there. And then on the X Maker, the filament's on the side. I don't think either really makes a difference. Both are super easy to get started with. Both have really nice instructions through the app and both auto calibrate and level. So uh, you should be able to get started just right out from the box. And that's what I was able to do with both of my printers. Uh, between the two, uh, I think, I mean, I think the X Maker, the original um, here, I think that having that um, bigger space is uh, a big, Plus, and I, I would personally think that if I was to choose, I would go with the X Maker just based on that bigger space um, and more versatility. But if you're short on space or you're just looking for something like in the classroom and you don't want it to take up a lot of room and you're looking for something that's purely aimed for kids to be able to pin, print out toys and trinkets, um, the Joy is really nice too. So I don't think you can really go wrong, um, but I would slightly lean towards the bigger model so that you could have a little bit more options.